It is 29 minutes after the hour, 55 degrees in downtown Sylacauga. Life Change Productions presents the hit gospel play, Too Blessed to be Stressed. Joining us this morning is Callie Willis, who is uh, involved with Life Change Productions. And good morning to you, Callie. Good morning Thanks to you. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Uh, <laughs> talk a little bit about Life Change Production. What kind of company is this? Life Change Production is a theater production company. We actually uh, originated out of Montgomery, Alabama. We have pretty much 12 of the best of the best actors from the state of Alabama. Each one of my actors, they sing. Uh, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal production company. Now, this is not your first production. It's not. It's not. We've been doing these shows for the last seven years. We actually had the privilege to close out the 50th in Selma this past year. So after the president and everybody left, uh, Life Change Production closed that entire uh, event. But that play, I did the play Don't Count Me Out. How did you get started with Life Change Productions? I was thinking about that uh, probably like the uh, same time as Hurricane Katrina came, mm -hmm. um, I broke my leg in the police academy. So actually I was put in the nursing home for 30 days and it took me a year to learn how to walk again. Wow. So I, during that process, I guess God granted me, uh, I always had the gift of writing. When I was in school, uh, literature actually came easy to me. Now I was an average student, but when it came to literature, I was an A student and my teacher couldn't figure that out. I can pretty much see a story and know how the story ended. So it was just a gift from God. Wow. Uh, now this is going to be uh, Too Blessed to be Stressed is a Mother's Day weekend production. It is. It is. Um, actually, I'm the new manager down here at Factory Connectory. And uh, some of the local people found out that I was here and they asked me what I bring this play to uh, Silicaga. And I prayed about it. And um, we're coming uh, Mother's Day weekend to B.B. Comer. Well, and, what can uh, people expect uh, with this? They're going to expect so much from this show. Uh, actually, the actor in this show, uh, her name is Connie. Connie actually uh, suffered with lupus and she's in a broken relationship. And uh, as we know, on the first of the month, the mailman's always late and Connie don't get her check. So actually she got to go to the local social security office to get her check. But in that process, Connie find herself and she find that being in a broken relationship, she learned how to love herself more mm -hmm. instead of the relationship. Wow. Uh, tickets available, are they available now? Or will be they available are, real they soon? are. They are available at August Barbecue here in Silicon, mm -hmm. uh, Alabama. And uh, also, what's coming is I have a five piece band. We have backup singers in the pit. We have an entire stage crew. A lot of uh, advertisers and uh, newspaper writers, when they see my production, they have no idea what's in store. And they always say, she's the female version of Tyler Perry. She's a diamond in the rug. She just hasn't been discovered yet. So what my production company plan on do is going to rural areas so we can actually teach the children and, and the adults. Because a lot of times you'll never get a chance to see a production mm -hmm. like this unless we bring it to your backyard. And once we're done at the end of the year going to different places and touring, we plan on going to Atlanta and we're going to put it all on the table. Either they're going to like it in Atlanta or they're not going to like it in Atlanta. But at least the production company would know if we could have made it or not. So how many people are involved with a production like this? <laughs> it's probably more than 45, I would say. When we travel, we travel on Troy Way. So it's an entire, I mean, I'm going to have like a backstage crew that's setting up the scenes because they travel. I mean, once you see it, you're going to be like, wow, there's no way. And pretty much when we closed Selma, we had people from California, New York, all around the world because it was the 50th. Mm -hmm. They said there's no way this much talent is in uh, Alabama undiscovered. But it's here. And I mean, I'll, not only with my production company, you have talent throughout the state of Alabama. But you're just going to have to get out there and network it. And uh, like I said, we're going to put it all on the table in Atlanta. All right. Uh, uh, Callie Willis, our guest this morning, Life Change Productions. And they've got the uh, hit gospel play, Too Blessed to be Stressed. I've heard that before, mm -hmm. but not in a play, a production <laughs> aspect. Yeah, I think we're all too blessed to be stressed. And with my plays, they all are gospel spiritual. So you can have the three-year-old as, as well as the 80-year-old to watch this show. And actually, I always remember I had this little artistic boy when I did a show at the Davis Theater, and we actually sold that out with 1,200 people. And I always wear my hat as the first lady of Life Change Production. And him being artistic, he wanted to know what was under the hat. Mm -hmm. So his mother brought him to the store to actually get a look at my face. And now Emmanuel is a senior in high school. And uh, still, every time he see me, he always smile and wink. So I say, even though he's artistic, that play actually touched an art artistic mm -hmm. child. Oh, why? targeting Mother's Day weekend. Uh, a lot of moms watching this morning may ask that question. <laughs> well, actually, Mother's Day weekend actually going to be hard for me because I just lost my mother in December. But 
as a need with the community, just to bring everybody together, closer together, bring the family together. I mean, because a lot of times you can't spend that special moment with your family because there's nothing to do. So I'm actually bringing Silicaga something to do with your family and uh, to the parents, to the daughters, to the sons, cherish your mother because I never knew, I mean, you know, my mother, she actually died of bone cancer and she fought a good fight, but just to have a living mother is a blessing. Mm. And this event's gonna be taking place over B.B. Comer High School in the beautiful School. auditorium there. It is, it is. They actually opened uh, their doors with welcome arms and just, um, you know, uh, just let us come in. And we're actually gonna give back to the band uh, once we get all the money in from the ticket sales. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Speaking of ticket sales, uh, mm -hmm. break down the ticket cost. Okay, uh, you can individual is 15 and we do group rates of 20 or more is 10, uh, 10 or more is 12. And, and so you got the VIP too. VIP is $20. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they get your tickets at August Barbecue. August Barbecue or you can call Gloria Gospel Host in Alexander City. Okay. Uh, why Silicaga? Do you have ties here in Silicaga? Well, actually, again, uh, I'm the new store manager of Factory Connect. Right? Okay. Uh, I managed Simply Fashions uh, for like over 10 years until they closed. And once I got here, again, I mean, the people, it's phenomenal. I mean, it's a small town, and I just think it's something that's needed. Mm -hmm. August Barbecue on Highway 280 mm -hmm. between Silicaga and Shelbyburg. Mm -hmm. You get your tickets there. Uh, too blessed to be stressed over at the B.B. Comer High School Auditorium. That'll be on Saturday, May the 7th, and uh, you can be a part of that. Uh, doors open at 6, the play starts at 7. H how long is the play, actually? It's an hour and 30 minutes. Okay. We start on time. Mm -hmm. And actually, our local pastor, Skylar Patterson, he'll be opening up this show. He's a wonderful, phenomenal young man. Uh, his group, Prestige, if I'm not making a mistake, uh, actually, I heard him walking around singing in my store. He never told me that he was a pastor. And that just caught my attention. I mean, because most time we get caught up on titles. But uh, he said, Miss Callie, he said, I'll come. I'll do whatever I need to do as long as this show is a su mm. uh, success. A major step for Life Change Productions and the presentations uh, that you do is going to be in Atlanta. You mentioned that a couple of times. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you see this company going mm -hmm. with these productions mm -hmm. uh, in Atlanta? Uh, not knowing Atlanta real well, mm -hmm. I'm assuming that is a play-oriented city. Uh -huh. it, well, actually, uh, Tyler Perry is lives in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and I actually wanted to go to the 13th house uh, theater, and that's where he got his start from. Mm -hmm. um, Atlanta just got so many producers, they got so many uh, agencies that would pick this show up. Mm -hmm. And so I told my people, I said, you know, when we go to Atlanta, we can't go to Atlanta with a dollar trying to do a, a, a million dollar show. We gotta have money in the bank when we hit Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, it's just a break me or make me. And actually my goal was uh, to be, uh, to work for Tyler Perry. I want to be a writer, you know, up mm -hmm. under Tyler Perry, because mm -hmm. he is my mentor. Uh, where does God fit in here? God is the center of my life. I mean, when we do these plays, I had no idea. My first play was at the Davis Theater. And Tyler Perry said, when I had my first play, I only had 30 people in the audience. When I had my first play, I had over a thousand people in the audience. And I was actually sitting out in the audience because I guess I got my production company, I was getting on the nerves. So they put me in the audience mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was watching this play. And at the end of the play, people actually start getting up and repenting. And so it was of God. And when I write my shows, I actually wake up at night. When he give it to me, I get up and I start writing. And when you see a big script, I don't have a big script. My script may be 20 or 30 pages. I give it to my director and they do the rest. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you're speaking of whenever it comes to you, even if it's night, you get up and write. I remember mm -hmm. uh, several years ago, uh, Joel Hemphill, who's a prolific uh, mm -hmm. Southern gospel music writer, mm -hmm. He said he sometimes could be in the shower mm -hmm. and something would hit him and he would towel off and get dressed and, and pin Start down right what there. he had right there. Uh, and then you meet people like by me working in retail. They'll say something crazy and something smart and I'll write it down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this. And even like one of my coworkers, her name is Stella. Stella is a character by herself. I'm going to have to write a play just for Miss Stella. It's just people wow. that I meet. And mm -hmm. actually, I got a book that I'm going to release at the end of the summer. It's called Grandma's Community Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a fictional because a lot of times we don't have um, books 
in the African American culture mm -hmm. to fit the teenagers. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, it's about two boys that's in the project. And just because you're in the project, it doesn't mean that mm -hmm. you're a bad person. It's just your circumstances. Mm -hmm. And, and, and two, I want to, want to make sure, uh, Kelly Willis is our guest this morning, uh, Life Change Productions presenting the gospel hit uh, play, uh, Too Blessed to be Stressed. And, uh, you know, this is from young people to old folks like me can come exactly, be a part of that. Exactly. And we have done it in the audience. And like I said, Emmanuel, the little artistic boy, every time I think about him, you know, I pat myself on the back and I said, thank you, God, because if I can reach an artistic person, imagine what I'm doing to yeah. just the average person. Yeah. All right. You can get your tickets uh, <laughs> to Too Blessed to Be Stressed. You can get them at uh, August Barbecue. And of course, uh, down in Alex City, we've got Alexander City viewers this morning. Mm -hmm. So how can they connect there? Uh, Gloria Gospel host. She is a wonderful friend of mine and she's a wonderful person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, kind of we appreciate you being with us this morning. You get your tickets you August me. Barbecue Saturday, May 7th. Life Change Productions presents a hit gospel play, Too Blessed to Be Stressed. We've got more Daybreak straight ahead.